When regulating the Earth's temperature and climate, two forces treat the radiation coming from the sun in very different ways. One of the forces is greenhouse gases produced naturally and by burning fossil fuels. The sun sends light through the atmosphere. Some of the light bounces back, but most of it goes through to the land and oceans. Once through, much of the light is absorbed and warms the Earth, then escapes back to space as heat. But some of that heat is absorbed again by greenhouse gases and warms the atmosphere. The more these gases accumulate in the atmosphere, the more heat gets trapped and the warmer the world becomes. That's global warming. Most aerosols have the opposite effect. Aerosols are tiny particles in the atmosphere. Some aerosols come from natural sources. Others come from industrial pollution. One thing aerosols don't come from is a spray can. Most of these tiny particles in the air reflect the sun's light back to space before it can make it through the atmosphere to our land and oceans. That creates a cooling effect, especially regionally, as less light reaches the surface to be absorbed. And that also means less heat to be trapped by greenhouse gases. At a glance, this might seem good, a way of keeping global warming in check. But aerosols affect more than temperatures. Scientists believe aerosols change weather patterns and reduce rainfall in some regions, although estimating the exact impact of aerosols on the climate is still tricky. Without a doubt, aerosols harm our health. An estimated 7 million premature deaths result each year from aerosol pollution. The best solution? Reduce both aerosol and greenhouse gas emissions for better human and planet health.